Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're you're giving me as well as yourself. Um, growing, growing um, inside and out spiritually, emotionally, mentally, embracing your gift and learning more about yourself that you never known before is a true blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you um, feel like the video has been very informative to you or it just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend or just a fellow empath that's going through some things right now and just need that confirmation or validation, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing me so much love and support. It's greatly appreciated. Now, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. My heart chakra is busted wide open, y'all, and I keep seeing these lights flashing going through here. Because it's not right here because you keep seeing it come through that way or whatever and going there. But ugh, anyways, um, the... Uh, let me see what meditation music I'm listening to today is 741 Hertz, Universe Within, Cleanse Toxins, Clear Infections, Powerful Spiritual Detox, and Aura Cleansing. And I will post that link in the descri uh, description box below. I don't know what is getting wrong with me. I'm getting tongue-tied today. I've been laughing so much today. It's not even funny. Um, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, we have to lose our minds to find it. We do. <laughs> we do because it's like I remember this song by Janae Aiko I love her and she says sometimes you have to learn your you know lose your peace of mind to find your peace of mind and you do have to do that at times you know it just seems like we have to go rock bottom like rock bottom you can't go nowhere else after rock bottom to step up and it's just there goes some lights again but it is just like being a blessing I because when I can say when I first, first started, you know, like I always tell y'all, we are never the, the person that started this journey towards the end when everything comes out all, you know, rainbows and roses. You know, you're not the first person, you're not the same person you started off at that journey. You know, you lose friends, you, you get new, all, all different ones, or you're by yourself going on this venture, finding out who you truly are. You have to go through some really crazy-ish for you to actually be able to know, okay, I had to go through this for a reason. I had to be able to see things for what they really are. I mean, it's just like when I started this this journey, I lost my mind. When I say I want to start raving mad, you know, pulling hair out, crying, screaming, I'm almost about to tear up stuff, and I was like, hold up, wait a minute, you can't tear up this stuff, you know, you got to be the one cleaning it up. So I didn't, you know, I was just kicking and throwing stuff when I wanted to, but. It's like when I finally seen the things that I had to go through, you know, I, I thought losing my mom, seeing my mom deteriorate, you know, from cancer, aneurysm, heart attack, stroke. She, I mean, she had everything all at one time. I thought that was the worst thing I was going to go through, even though that's still bad. And I miss my mom each and every day. But I know she is with me and I know she's in a better place. Losing my father and knowing all the truth about that, now that sent me over the edge. But then when I can see the purpose I had to go through this I had to lose my mind to be able to find the truth out about myself learn who I truly was knowing my my true life purpose finding out what I was placed here on this planet to do seeing my past lives for the things that I was doing making a difference then as I'm doing now breaking the cycle you know seeing cutting those generational curses I mean it is just like we can go through so much hell and then you can see the heaven heaven sent out of everything that you finally went through. You know, and sometimes, you know, you're looking at like, Ross, what are you talking about? When you go through that and you can actually see the hardship is what is going to make you. You know, it, it can either make you or break you. And, you know, a lot of people can't handle certain things like that. Some people have did their thing and they 
went separate ways, unfortunately. But when you can really go through things and see that, you know, you're not going to allow your traumatic situation carry you on to a different life to where you're not supposed to be, get out of that dark place, being able to see that. Because, there, I mean, it took me a really long time to get that way. You know, there's times that I still cry. You know, I, I look at my dad's pictures and, you know, think about shoulda, coulda, wouldas. But, you know, everything happened for a reason. Um, being able to live on that legacy, you know, being very proud of my dad, proud of all the achievements he was doing, you know, and be thinking at times, um, you know, is he proud of the things that I'm doing? And I, I get validations about that all the time, him telling me how much he's proud of me for the things that I'm doing. But at times when we have to, when we're going through some really hellish stuff, you have to really look, you know, you had to be a really Billy Badass <laughs> for you to be going through the stuff you're going through and being able to make it. You know, you can sit up here and say, I've been through this, this, and this, and that. And, you know, with you being a Hayoka, I mean, there's times y'all don't sit up here and tell me y'all life story. I'm just like, what the heck? You went through this, you know, and then I'm just like, and you're, st you, you're good, you know, and you have so much strength for going through what you're going through and then being able to tell somebody your situation on what you went through and you being okay you know that's the true blessing so at times we have to lose our mind to be able to get that peace of mind get being able to see things for what they truly are seeing that what we lost out of our lives really wasn't a loss um being able to grow from things that was sent to break you um getting that strength from something that made you lose your mind being able to love yourself and you know see yourself worth in so many different levels, knowing that you got to, got to that upper echelon, be able to rise above all the, you know, all the things that were sent to tear you down. And that's a good thing to go through. You know, sometimes we got to lose it for us to be able to find it, you know. And it's just like when I sit up here and tell somebody my life story on the things that I went through, they're like, there is no way. And I'm just like, yeah, it's, it's heavy, but, you know, hey, you know, I, I, I look at the upside of everything. Yeah, I you know, lost a lot, but the upside is when you, when I've helped a lot of people, when I can allow, you know, help guide somebody and say, you know what, when you come at me, you know, when people come at me and tell me, Rosalind, I've been through this and this and this and that, I said, well, did you look at it this way, you know, because I, I feel for y'all, because I know y'all really been through some stuff, and I never say nobody's stuff is worse than anybody else's, because I feel like, you know, all of us, you know, went through some hell, but you know, when you when you want to put all your stress and your emotions on one table, you're going to pick up somebody else's stuff or you're going to pick up your own because you already know what you're dealing with. You deal with somebody else's, you might not make it. You know, I never try to walk in nobody's shoes because they might not fit me. You know, I, I just don't do that. But when you can actually look at your stuff and know that when you lost your mind, there was a reason why you had to lose it because you had to get shaken up for you to be able to see things for what they truly are being blessed that you were able to see things you know sometimes we get upset because we don't get things but you never know the reason why it was stopped in the first place maybe we would have messed up maybe there would have been something coming towards us that we wouldn't have been able to deal with maybe somebody would have came up and you know disrupted everything you have to be blessed for the things that universe stopped us from getting we at times we got to do that i used to get upset you know, when people knew about my situation, knew that my mom confided in people and told them if anything was to happen to her, make sure my daughter gets home, make sure she knows her family. And they did not say nothing. My mom's so-called friends didn't say nothing. They know about it and just ignore me, you know, and just be giving me the side eye. And they know. But I'm proud that they didn't help me. I, you know, I got family members that know about the same stuff and didn't help me. But that's okay. You know, I'm very blessed about that because anything that I have in life, nobody can't never say that they helped me do that. You know, that's why I tell my kids, you be happy that you're doing all this stuff on your own. You know, I support my children as much as I possibly can. But when you're doing everything on your own and when you finally get where you need to get, nobody can sit up here and say, if I didn't help this person, they wouldn't have been able to get this. You did everything on your own. You know, I worked hard for everything I got. You know, I don't want nobody to say they handed me something because of whose child I was. I can say I worked hard for anything that I've done. You know, I made sure I did all my stuff on my own. You know, people, you know, you send me links. You, you know, 
sit up here and tell me, hey, Rosalind, you ever heard of this? I love it when y'all tell me that, you know, because I'm learning stuff off of you as you're learning off of me. But everything happens for a reason. You know, you get your stuff and you work hard and you get whatever you need to get. And, you know, what whatever you're working hard for comes to you ten times fold. You can be sitting up here praying for one thing and talking to the universe about this and this and that. And just because of the things that you're doing in life, and you might seem like, dang, you know, I'm doing all this and I'm only getting a little bit in return. And when you least expect it, you got something that you didn't even pray for. You got something that you weren't even expecting to get. And that's the blessing within itself. So you keep working hard. Even though you might have lost your mind, you're going to find something bigger than you ever expected. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content in this video. I love y'all so much. And um, uh, like and subscribe, even, you know, hit that notification bell, drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And, um, you know, uh, share the video, give me a thumbs up. I'm giving a shout out to uh, Happy Hearts Club channel, Katie Straight, Deep Thought um, Here and Now, and Worst Nero. Much love to you, and I will see you on my next video. Have a blessed, prosperous weekend well end of the weekend and i hope you have a blessing week blessed week and i will see y'all on my next video i don't know if i'm gonna have any videos coming out tomorrow but if i'm not if i do i'll see you tomorrow if not y'all catch me on the um, flip side on the next day i'll talk to y'all later peace love be wild